Go for it, man. Let's do it. All right. Welcome back to Open Mic Heroes, episode number eight. Welcome back. We made it out of the car, guys. We're uh, yeah, we're out of the car, but you know, we're still sailing. We're we're figuring this shit out. It's it's (laughs) new. It's new territory. We're trying to get things going. I think it's new to everyone at this point, man. Right. We're all like here just trying to do something real right now. But I will tell you, having a microphone kind of feels good. Feels uh, fancy. Uh, Doing some fancy shit. Yeah. It's like, you know, when you go and you buy a Honda Civic and then all of a sudden you get a Mercedes. I've never owned one. I'm, I've just, never I'm done, just saying that. But you I've know. never done either of those things. It, I've it's never had a like Honda that. Civic or... A Mercedes, so <laughs> I cannot attest to that, but I'll, I'll take your word for it. It sounds I've like, owned a Honda Civic, but never a Mercedes. It would be nice. It definitely know. does feel fancier. Uh, you know, we're not trapped within a car, so that's fucking cool. We I have like a little that. bit more room. I mean, we are on a couch from 1802. I can stretch my legs. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we got a foot in it. Oh, yeah, see a sock, bro. We don't have shoes on like we just walked through the mud just to get to a rainy, wet car that's outside. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you can't hear the rain anymore. You won't have the, the rain sound no machine dog. in the back. Oh, oh, I missed the dog already, dude. Shit. Uh, well, that was our buddy, dude. He was like our, our other pot, you know, our other podcaster. With so us. should we be like Steve-O and should I pull the little like Chihuahua in here? What's up, guys? Uh, we're going <laughs> to we're going to go do a podcast in a van. I'm Steve-O. Yeah, it's oh, going to be man. cool, man. Oh, dude, I could bring I could bring the chihuahua and her her name is uh, Ellie Belly, bro. She'll bark at everything. I found this dog in Peru and it was pretty cool, man. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to do the rest of the episode as Steve-O. <laughs> let's let's go for it. Like at that point. Oh, we got we got adjustments. See, you see stuff coming on here. That's what happens when you're you're fancy. You got a you got a producer coming in. You got all this kind of shit. It's. It, it's uh it's cool it's it's fancy uh our uh, we have another camera over here uh that's new yeah so Give we a got, shout out to the other camera oh wait are so now we can finally go and do like the whole hot ones thing and be like this camera this camera tell yeah, him he, what you're doing he's been way. wanting to do that the whole time i don't know why either do i i don't want homeboy to get mad at me on hot ones i don't want to get sued Sean Evans. i don't want to get sued but I've been wanting to say that. I think it would be cool. We're getting sued by Steve-O and Sean Evans this episode. Oh, shit. I forgot we brought Steve-O into this Hey, I'm (laughs) Steve-O. And I'm Sean Evans. I eat buffalo wings. Oh, should I I come in like Bam Margera and be like, you know, it's it's fucking horrible, man, what they're doing to the whole jackass crew. You need to work on your impressions. It's not an impression. Bit. I'm just fucking <laughs> just saying. If I come in in it like Alex, that. you could don't be afraid to laugh, dude. You're, you're, you, you can say talking. whatever you if want, you're, homie. If, you're in know, this to win it. I keep wanting to. Our our producer Alex is over here chilling, and I keep wanting to like look at you and being like like you know saying stuff to you, and then I realize that you're not on mic. Eventually, we need to get you on on a mic for sure. So we need three mics now. Yeah. So we need we need homeboy in this. Yeah, because if you if you want to laugh in the background, be our Nadav be our laugh track you know what i mean yeah Yeah. all of a sudden definitely the only thing that sucks about this camera view for you derek right now is all i see is the microphone in your face i'll move it down just a little bit maybe just a little bit oh fuck i ruined everything no no taste it's 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 a taste test taste test what you want me to do i immediately went to taste test you want me to lick it you, I mean, you could if you want to. They're sanitary. <laughs> <laughs> Taste test the microphone. Taste test. One, two, three, four. What's what's nice? Like what's nice is I can actually like lean and enjoy myself sitting on this couch. Yeah, I'm comfy than... right now. This is definitely the most comfy that I've been doing the podcast. So that's oh, hundred percent. Hundred percent. We're gonna hate this couch soon because when I play a game for eight hours straight on this thing, I fucking hate it. Why? It's for two is from 1802 i'm not joking this uh, just so everybody knows this came from my uh i don't know who she is i'm like not my face is not on the camera whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm completely i'm dude com- so here's what we need to do do we need to move the phone up i don't know guys we're figuring out you know as we do this this is great though for everybody like you guys get to see raw and untested we're figuring it out in real time here guys uh 
we you know we're car podcasters getting out of the car is uncharted territory for us we're gonna do the best we can we're gonna work with what we got we were supposed to start like one hour ago but we're just we're fucking we're just going we're fucking rolling oh we're, dude holy shit yeah it is like we're rolling o'clock. dude we're rolling like fucking fred durst fucking <laughs> come on <laughs> he's rolling, it's, rolling, rolling, rolling. it's okay my wife showed up like really late too that's all good we're fucking we're just rolling with it we're just gonna do the best we can we worked hard to get out of this car, guys. Oh, we were, man. We were in that car for a long time. We never left that car for like seven weeks. I think the best part about leaving the car is just being able to hang out in an, a bigger area. Now with our, I don't want to say it. We'll say young Alex over here. <laughs> yeah. So our young Alex is over here. And it's nice. Once we get him a microphone, y'all will be able to hear him. I do actually would think it would be sick as fuck if we had a third camera over here getting him up in this as well that way yeah if we have something set up that way that way it brings you into the conversation if we say something about you or bring you into that conversation you're there and that's i honestly this to me is surreal because it's just fun yeah dude we're you guys are going to be growing with us in real time we're going to be you know adding more stuff in we're going to get multiple other cameras uh i'm going to have one set up below where you're seeing right now uh, I will not be wearing pants whatsoever this entire podcast. Uh, oh. There will be a camera that's just for my dick. And you guys can go to OnlyFans and you guys can see the dick cam footage. Oh, man. So you can... Whoa. Whoa. Just dick? No butthole? Oh, well, butthole, you know, halfway through the episode, I'll turn around. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> gotta, gotta give them what they're asking for, you know. You gotta... What gets me about that is that are we gonna wait for the 100th episode for that one, or are we just gonna roll into it on the the ninth I don't know. episode? If the fans are asking for it now, you gotta just go for it. So, you know ninth I mean? episode, everybody. We'll have our OnlyFans open for yours truly, Derek, over here to show off everything, plus the butthole. Oh man! Hey, you better be getting paid for that butthole scene because I'm getting paid, dude. <laughs> you better hit me. You with better hope donations. we have a shit ton of followers on OnlyFans for that. I'll be one. doing dick rating in the in my messages, so just uh, make sure you send me lots of dick pics. Uh, I'll be oh, giving you ratings. Uh, I'll do custom work. I will do whatever you need. If you need me to dress up in like a furry suit and jizz everywhere, I'll I'm do that. Sure we're furry suits now, huh? Yeah. Hey, so <laughs> my uh, <laughs> we'll do a full episode in furry suits, dude. So if my you uh, fur- if you could be a furry, like what animal would you be? I'm not big with animals, but if you're if, if you're, you're talking be a furry, like, and you're if you're gonna, talking furry right now, if you're gonna ejaculate as an animal, what animal would that be? Damn, that was a Fuck hard one. Easy, easy. Red panda. Oh, a red panda. You're adorable. That's... You didn't expect it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it's so oh shit. <laughs> That's I, a good, I can't come up with a good one like that, dude. I Fuck. mean, I'd be a horse. Come on. <laughs> I'm going with, I'm picking the animal with the biggest dick, like, right off the bat. Oh, if you're doing that, dude, we, we going, we, it's got to be a, a fucking elephant, dog. Yeah. No, dude, blue whale. Blue whale. Blue whale, yeah. You're just flopping outside of the water. Just... <laughs> <laughs> but you can't even. I got to come. You would have to like make sure she swims under you just to give her a fucking face drop, bro. Right, right there. You gotta make sure you surface for some goddamn air. Oh, you wanted a you money shot? Make sure you swim underneath me. Right there. Right there. That's the spot. <laughs> 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 we're gonna we're gonna have to do this now. The fans are gonna ask for this. We're oh, gonna, dude. We're gonna well, so now to we're doing up. we're gonna have to animate it. Furries. No, we're not animating it. We're dressing up as furries, dude. So now I gotta dress dress up as a fucking whale, bro. Yeah, it's gonna be part of the hundredth episode. Oh man, we're going deep. OnlyFans, furries, all the all the shit. We're going. We're just going for it. Pun intended on that one. On that fucking hundredth episode. Oh yeah. Oh. I'm telling you, you can sit literally however you want. I'm getting fucking comfy in here, guys. We're getting comfy. We're having a good old time. We got we got a show tonight. The only thing I didn't do was light an incense. That would make it. I I'll didn't. fucking light some fucking incense right now. That medical incense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shit. He's oh dude, he's hardcore hitting that shit. So what? Now we just needed like a bong sitting here. Should yeah, I'll be ripping. Dude. Yeah, dude. Let oh, he's in. holding it in too. <sighs> We're putting the incense in. Gotta get that Jesus incense. Christ. I haven't smoked in a, like a very long time. 
Yeah, we got to keep your dick working, dude. Yeah, exactly. That's that's the biggest issue with it. How are you going to have a big old whale dick if you fucking hey, smoke Hey, if we weed? take like a week off, you know, I could smoke all we want. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh, man. Oh, shit. Fuck. We, dude, yeah, we are doing a show tonight. Yeah. Uh, we got Robert Moore coming out. Woo! Headlining, dude. Headlining. Uh, we definitely... What made me happy is that we got Jacob Barber hosting it. It's another friend of ours, man. It's going to go pretty good. I'm excited for that because, one, I don't have to do it this week, and I can maybe have a couple little whoop, 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 and little sodi pops. <laughs> it's a little sodi pops, bro? Yeah. Oh, he's like, have yeah, we got we to bring in the sugar because I'm not watching my heart rate tonight. <laughs> Some road sodas. Yeah. Dude. And then I got a doctor's appointment in the morning. That <laughs> oh, gonna, oh, that's going to go They're going to take all my levels and they're just going to be horrible. I'm just going to show up hungover and shit. Like, it's a new doctor, too. It's a doctor I've never been to. So I'm. Oh, going he's going to rail you, bro. He's going to be like, what is wrong with you, dude? I'm going to show up still drunk and be like, this is your health? Like, they already fucking. You guys have probably heard my joke about the smartwatch and everything like that. The last doctor already told me I'm fat. Uh, so. <laughs> dude. I gotta, I'm fat right now just sitting here, bro. I can feel it. <laughs> the camera alone, I'm not wearing a jacket or nothing, so you guys can really That's see my I, edges. I'm sitting up straight is I look less fat when oh, I you, sit up straight. He's straight up, he's like, you know what? Change the posture. I'm a skinny king right now. Make you skinny, <laughs> skinny fucking king. Dude, no, I'm fucking jockey king over here, bro. We rolling all the flabs. You know that like you start to feel fat when you're uh <laughs> like you gotta squish uh smiley face oh. over here oh when you squish the smiley face and <laughs> oh dude <laughs> there you go there like, you go say, say that looks better on the camera that that's just a like a penis right there i guess <laughs> it no it sucks because like i just thought about this too when i was sitting down there i was trying to like chase my daughter around and yeah catching your breath sucks dude and sitting here right now i feel like i'm suffocating myself why because it's hot it's kind of hot in it's here. It's hot. Dude. I didn't think it was, it's never hot up here. I do run hot. I'm a I'm a run hot guy. I, I think we're just hot in general, man. Oh, we're hot. Oh. We're so we're, hot. Oh, we're getting into a bestiality now. What? Because now we're doing furry shit. So. Oh, okay, you bringing it back to the furry. That was... <laughs> That was a <laughs> that shit came out. Yeah, that was a weird callback. Dude, uh, it was a little bit weird. <laughs> Uh, I was like, wait, wait, best way to say it. Though. I smoked, but did I miss something? <laughs> did I miss a point of something that was happening? Is that okay? So I'm not into all that shit. Is that two different things? Furries and bestiality? Yes. Okay. One, you dress up like an animal, and the other one, you fuck an animal, like okay. an actual animal. So those are two different things. I misread that one, y'all. Well, it's a uh, backtracked furries. Yeah. Oh, we're backtracking now. <laughs> No, we're not. You're, like, you're not gonna, we're going to roll into the show there. Are you going to go fucking pull some Enum Claw shit? You know, Get fucked by a horse, Mr. Hands or oh whatever? Oh, God. Is that what that is? Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, yeah. Oh, dude. I, so I used to sell snowboard lessons up there because uh, there's like Crystal Mountain and the Enum Claws, that town. So all the locals were working at the ski resort. And I was like, so this is like 2014 or so. It's like, so. Was it true? Did it happen there? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I, I wanted the deets on that shit. Uh, That's not. No, no like, man. I don't know why, but they didn't want to talk about it. So Yeah, because they're tired of talking it, about hey. it. That's the only <laughs> thing that that town has ever been known for. Isn't Nothing that... interesting has happened since then or will happen again in Enumclaw. What? That was the one event that they got. And then that's it. That it never happened again. No. Wasn't that where Jeff Dye went and did a show? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jeff Dye. Uh, there's, there's like a big venue up there that he went to go do. Which I I thought about asking him if he, when I was messaging him if uh, he ever did like if he would do that kind of material, but I think that I don't know I'm not a super experienced comedian comedian, but I feel like that's one of those things that you wouldn't do just because every other comedian before you has done it. You know there. what I mean? You know someone's making a Mr. Hands joke if they're playing oh, on clock. Uh, yeah. So, okay. Okay. So I don't know. I think that. Maybe other people have done it before, so he didn't want to do it. To me alone, that's just... Well, I have no idea if he did or didn't, because I didn't ask him. But i that's just me like thinking, like... Personally. Yeah, if I was to do it, if I was an experienced comedian and I was to do it, would I make the joke because that I know in my head that 
everyone's probably made that joke before me. You have to have like such a, a original take on it that you know that someone else hasn't done yet for it to really make sense and be worth doing it. I dude, so, so far, dude, like just sitting here, like this is probably gonna be a funny episode. <laughs> I like how you're already thinking about. <laughs> I just because like, like you said yeah. all that, and then I just you know, thought of everything we said before. Do you that, know, like. like we're pretty good at this. Like, no, that's no, no. I don't think we're good. I mean, well, you got to have some confidence in ourselves, yeah, right? But no, nah, dude, just but everything I, we said before you just said I all just that. I just think it's funny, though, that you're like, we're like into the episode and you're like already being like, let's analyze what we did. Oh, uh, let's dude, take. Let's, I kind of have to. We got to take I'm a like break. All right. right now. What did we do? And then be like, OK, what are we going to do? OK, now time in. Time out. Time in. Oh, you better not edit that out either. I'm editing That's... everything, dude. Oh, no. We can't. I, all of it. Everything we, we said so far. Shit. Leave, every... it all at, leave it all in there. Dude, everything we said so far, I'm editing out. <laughs> so welcome to episode eight. Uh, we got to do this for... This is gonna be all like... right, that's for syncing. Is... No. <laughs> <laughs> is it going to be like the last episode where all of a sudden you're just... No, Still don't in. tell him about the editing of the last episode. <laughs> That's secret. Shh. We're nope. Doing, oh, man. Nope. Nope. We're not doing that. Let's go to some questions, man. <laughs> How about we go to some questions? This is a, that was a good intro. We'll 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 move on from An the intro. intro. What do we? What that was we, the intro, dog. You sitting at what are we sitting at? Like, th- hold on, I gotta get my shirt out of my rolls, people. We got no. I want some fucking biscuits and gravy. Bring them rolls here. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk, like, the best thing about losing weight was the fact that I could breathe and tie my shoes at the same time. Oh, dude. I, oh, dude. Nobody talks about that struggle. I can't do that. All it's, right. I can't. Like, I could, I don't even tie my shoes. I just slide them on, bro. I'm wearing yeah. slides. They stay tied. Hell yeah. All right. All right so right. we're starting out with the questions. This is the Q&A portion. Normally, this uh, portion, like other portions, are coming straight from a car, but we are not in a car, so we're doing... We're just doing some questions outside of a car today. That's what's on the agenda. Still on the cell phone, though. So next time, I'll, I'll make sure we have a You want to read the this. first one, and then we'll just pass the phone back and forth? I don't know. You said my daughter reads better than me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I burned him. I said that his uh, daughter, because she was like hanging out with me and became my best friend earlier. I was like, uh, this is my new co-host. I was like, she probably reads better than you. And now... Uh, it probably does, dude. <laughs> she has full sentences. Now. She's uh one and a half, right? Or would you say? She is uh nineteen months. Nineteen so she'll months. Be, she'll just be like roughly her two, and well. already a better reader than him. Oh man, come on! <laughs> she can say "fucking you got a friend in me" or "happy happy dance dance." So oh, don't get started about- on Elmo. We won't talk about that. All right, into the questions. <clears throat> <clears throat> Woo! Let's get real. So Chelsea Hicks, man. Chelsea, always got a question. What color is the smell of gasoline, and why is it orange? What? What? Let the me. F- let me, let me <laughs> we should have had a cup of gasoline ready to sniff. Just to know, is it? I'm colorblind, so I don't think of smells as colors in any way. Because imagine being colorblind, but with smells. Like you go to smell, and it's just another thing. Like you're like, I thought it was gasoline. He's like, No, that's butter. Like, wait, what? Put, like, it's like the color line, but like, like colors and smells. So I can't isn't analyze gasoline this one. like kind of a clear green, though. Uh, Are we? No, that's what color it is. But she's saying, what color is the smell? Like when you smell it, what color do you oh, think of? Like oh, synesthesia. yeah. OK. And then, she, yeah, because she said, and why is it orange? What does it smell like to you? gasoline just yeah. gas like i don't know a name for that one like if you're saying a color are you picking him up all right through the mic yeah okay because i just noticed that i'm like yeah. well there's two different mics but yeah i got the ear he said make sure i have the ear okay this is some behind <laughs> the scenes this is this is a blooper this is the, the secret he always says that anything that happens in the episode is a blooper but i don't think he actually knows what a blooper is Something funny that happens offset. Bro. I know, but it's never like something like that funny. It's like just something like we're like, oh, there's you a, know, there's, there's gonna a train be fans going by years down the road who watch the beginning of our podcast and then they're gonna see these bloopers. 
<laughs> and they're gonna fucking love it. But we're not even gonna cut. Th- they're not bloopers because we never cut them out of the episode. They're okay. just a part that we say okay. is a blooper. Okay, F- fair enough. Okay, what give do you me- think? Is it a color? Or no, like- I'm colorblind. I already gave my piece on this. I fucking have no idea. I'm, I'm gonna. T- I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't think there is no color for the smell. I got one. Oh yeah. Green. Green. Yeah, green means go. Green yeah, yeah. Gas. okay i'm yeah. gonna go i'm gonna say the same thing that's why i said i'm colorblind green. so i'm copying your guys's homework <laughs> and we're gonna move on to the next question <laughs> oh i hit the thing all right jonathan buchanan whenever i enter a walmart parking lot i smell toast am i having a stroke uh <laughs> you may be i would consult a doctor uh, I'm going to a doctor tomorrow morning, as I said earlier. So I will ask my doctor if you're having a stroke. You might not be all right by then. It might be too late. You might be dead. If you, dude, but if you smell and toast all the time, though, that's a que- that's a good question. Yeah, you want to definitely not do that. I was you gonna wanna... say just just so everyone knows, it's like Subway's like right over the other direction from our Walmart here in town. Not to mention. I'm pretty sure they're just baking bread in our. Oh, I didn't think about that. The wind could be blowing a little strong and. uh, Oh, fuck. You need to set your screen. This has been a problem the entire (laughs) podcast. He has a screen (laughs) to turn off in like literally five seconds. If you don't fucking do it, you got to say battery. Oh, wait, you're up. I we answered that one. Okay, so we got number two here. So we have three by Jonathan, just so everybody knows. But I'm on number two here. Why are there always blood stains on your clown costume? What? Yeah, that's what he said. Why are there always blood stains on your clown costume? I don't know. My clown costume or yours? Because I don't have one. Maybe that stroke you went out and then during that time you put on a clown costume and you went and murdered someone. Or does he just think there's a doppelganger that looks either like me or you that have blood stains? On is the he? Costume? It the clown? Is that who we're talking to? Is John? That's, that's my question. Is Jonathan Buchanan Buchanan its legal name? And just no one knew that this. Whole and time? that's just so happens to be Pennywise the clown. Or is this Roasty Toasty? Don't even start that. We'll check the email after this and see if we have a new roast. Oh man! Okay, he probably will roast us. Who is your favorite character in the Umbrella Academy, and why is it Klaus? Uh, my, uh, my own sister said that Klaus reminded me of her or re- fuck I shouldn't have smoked. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> said that Klaus reminded her of me. Uh, but my favorite character was Ben. Ben was Ben. The one that the one that was, uh, Don't dead. Me, I haven't watched it. Oh, you haven't watched it. No, me and Tosh have been thinking about watching it too. I liked Ben. Ben's probably my favorite. He's the one that like is dead that Klaus talks to. When you say Klaus, you seen that? what you seen Umbrella Academy? Oh yeah, a little bit. Who's your favorite guy? Oh shit, probably the monkey. Oh yeah, the monkey's pretty. Yeah, good. I like that the guy that plays him. He's been in a couple other things. He's a it's, good actor. It's funny because you guys be talking Klaus like all. Oh I wait, was- no, you mean the the leader. Uh, I thought you were talking about the big, strong guy. No, no. There's the monkey that has... Yeah, the, the you're talking about Pogo. Yeah, fuck yeah, Pogo. I don't know. For some reason, who's the leader guy? The one that he goes to the moon? Because he's yeah. really... He, is yeah. it, is it, aren't his arms hairy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Because I was thinking, like, did he have, like, monkey DNA or something like that? Something. I never finished it. Now yeah. I got to, like, season one and then... So now I got to watch it. It's a good show. It. it is. It really is. I've, so next episode, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to that because... I have no idea. Are you uh, doing it? You wait. Did I read that one? Oh, fuck. did you read that one or did I read it? You read it, bro. Oh, we shit. should go back, but I fuck. guarantee you read it. Shit. So is this two? I'm assuming. So Campbell Riley. I believe this is two. Why is it Bath and Body Works, but they don't have deodorant? Oh, there's nothing for your so body. That's, that's one. Qu- that's just one question. The second that, one is why are blueberries? Blue? Wait, hold on, hold on. You want to go from just you got to yeah, you got to stop. Well, it's all on. one thing. I know, but you still got to stop so, and answer okay, the question. So we're gonna go. I'm gonna the- remember the first question. So why <laughs> is uh, what was it again? See, I already forgot it. You said blueberries. Deodorant. Or 
Yeah. Well, Bath and Why Body is Works. It Bath and Body Works, but they don't have deodorant. Uh, so that is a good question. Are they really not? I've never really. I thought they did for men. <laughs> yes. Oh, just for men? That's fucked up. Like, don't we have one here in town? Do pretty we sure need I've been to yeah, boycott sure them, guys? I thought so. They don't have deodorant for women. That's kind of fucked up. We should boycott them right now. Hey, slow down, dude. They only have one cologne for a guy. My foot is asleep. I was sitting on my foot because I can do that now. And then I realized that I was doing it. And now my foot is, my left foot is asleep. He went from the question of deodorant to his foot being asleep. No, that's all I can think about is my foot. (laughs) I can't think of anything else. Just my foot. Son of a bitch. I'm pretty sure they have deodorant at Bath and Body Works, though, for real. You just got to look harder. I mean, you got to go deep into the body works. Dude, my wife buys a lot of shit from there, too. I mean, anything can be deodorant if you're brave enough. I mean, (laughs) (laughs) just what? Smearing fucking weed leaves in your armpit? Yeah. And just, you know. What? I'm not going to say it because it's. Just go to the next question. Yeah, man. we'll go to the next. If I say it, I don't. I don't We're I don't trying need. to make as little editing work as possible. So don't say it and move on to the other one. <laughs> don't even okay. get me talking about your sound check earlier. Same person, which is Campbell Riley. Why are blueberries blue on the outside, green on the inside, but when you blend them, they are purple? So I'm colorblind. Uh, so I didn't know none of that happened. <laughs> So, is she making that up or is that real? It is that true? Does it turn purple? Dude, I am a blended of blue. I just eat the damn things. I am blue and blend. purple are one of the colors that uh I can't see. So I can't I can't tell between blue and purple, differentiate or whatever, between blue and purple, red and green, and uh like yellow and like lime green. I can't tell. It kind of makes sense because you have yeah. the, the outer part of the blueberry is blue, right? Yeah. The inner part's red. Red and blue make purple. Oh. Why would blueberries be different colors on the inside? That's weird. Well, it's just kind That's of, a weird thing. Uh, I can't say that because, like, what other fruit? Yeah, an apple, green on watermelon. the outside. Yeah, watermelon. I was going to say green on the outside, pink on the middle. I was leaning forward all weird. We you need it. You, well, you said you were relaxing a little bit ago. Now we're, what, now we're running I'm, into I'm, issues. I I have too much freedom in which way I could sit, and then I'll start sitting one way for a while, and then uh, I'll have to change it. Like legit, the way I'm sitting right now is how I play games. Push them back. I'm when, gonna... as, soon, as soon as I sit in this couch, I'm just like that. <laughs> to, it's just. Just chilling. Uh, how's like, this? <laughs> is this good? Oh, you can't see shit, man. <laughs> Like when I, <laughs> I'm always. Like, I told you, dude. Try playing a game. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm I'm a problem. Well, I am so high. Shit. I'm a problem, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we're I, we're rolling in. I, it, I should get this high and host next week. the problem is is when you go up you'll probably forget your sets first no i'll just i'll oh yeah you're right (laughs) good point (laughs) all right next question (laughs) he'll be he'll be thinking we're uh hosting mcfilers all of a sudden okay we did the color one i don't know that colorblind uh nathan heishman my boy if you could only listen to one song for the rest of your life so when you turn on the radio, you can only hear that one song repeat. What would it be? Ooh, that's a good question. Whoo! God, that one makes you think. Uh, da, 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 da. I gotta go off just like a gut response, and I would probably say like "First Day of My Life" by Bright Eyes, just because what that song does to me, and just how deeply meaningful it is to me really yeah i i gotta tell you it what's yours and i know this is like newer but it dude like i love juice world so oh would, yeah and for me it would have to be like robbery by juice world nice it, it's my ringtone too like i just i love how he like flows and everything i could listen to that every day no matter what you got one to toss into this one i would say I mean, I'm a huge Tool fan. Yeah. And oh I, yeah. I, I think I'd be winning here only because they're 
what their songs are like, like 15 yeah. minutes long. Yeah. That's a lot of material yeah. for the rest of my life. Yeah. Like three minutes. Yeah. You know? Yeah, no. So I get that. that just because. You could just like take turns and be like, all right, I'm going to listen to this four minutes of it like for a little bit. Dude, and then a real. week later, switch to another four minutes of it. You're like, I can get a new song. I'm cheating this entire system. Exactly. The, like, I think that would be the same if you would have chose Rush. Oh, yeah. Right. Like, if you chose Rush, dude, one of their songs is like 20 minutes long, dude. You just That's a whole album right there for some people. Right. Fuck. Can you imagine? God damn! If you only have that's a good song. question. Thanks, man. Yeah, I I actually like that. That, that makes you think. Makes you think real hard. Uh, here we go. We got Derek Horace. Hey, Woo, welcome, our welcome returning back. our boy. Yep, welcome a, back. A master of questions. So we're Derek asked, "What's the worst movie to put on Netflix and chilling, and or the best?" Oh, uh, so like, Easy. If, so, yeah. What you got? Oh, the worst movie. Yeah. Cuties. What is cutie? Oh, oh yeah, right. Fuck that. Oh, uh, okay. Didn't I get pulled off of Netflix? I don't know. Wait, are, so are you saying like, is it like cuties or no, cuties? cuties? It was like a. They pulled it off of Netflix because like sexualizing young kids or something like that. It's basically softcore porn for pedos. Uh, what the fuck? It was trying to make a statement about the over sexualization of like young girls, but in doing so, they have young girls acting a certain way on film and it's foul no yeah. fucking way i thought when you said it i was like trying to think like cooties like that movie with uh what's his name man he played fucking frodo i thought i would probably the question let me look at read it the question like for netflix and chilling like so if you're gonna like try to hook up or something like that yeah i i'd probably say like like anything that's like overly like a guy film like I don't know. I feel like I put I I've put on like Pulp Fiction for girls before, and I'm like, this is the greatest film ever. And yeah. then and then they just kind of like lose interest and they're not into it. I don't know. Huh. Uh, Mine's just, definitely got to be like uh, sci-fi movies. Is it a movie that's already on Netflix or it can be any? Movie? That's what I want to know. What's the worst movie to put on? Okay, let's just okay for so, the sake yeah. of the question, let's just say it's any movie. Like it could be, and then I wouldn't pick Pulp Fiction. I'm just picking it like a movie that I've seen on Netflix before. So let me think. Let me think. What's like the worst movie? Fuck. And because you, you're trying to be any movie. Yeah. You, yeah, you're a Serbian film. Oh God, you dude, are two this, for two in the yeah, most. He's like, he's like instantly right like now, dude. most fucked up thing. Okay, here it is. <laughs> yeah, dude, most no fucked up shit. thing. Is, uh, oh, most fucked up thing in that category. Okay, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> fucking a yeah because i can't really like i like for me it would be sci-fi because my wife hates that i put on anything yeah, i love sci-fi, sci-fi so she yeah. and she's like put on star trek nope she's gone oh, put yeah. on star wars nope she's in her phone what yeah like put on jurassic park dude bring darth that's not a sci-fi but if i put on jurassic yo park, bring darth over done. here put put darth with us so can you br- bring us darth oh can, can he move he, yeah you can He's not attached to anything. You can literally move him wherever you want. They bring him, put him, put him. He'll fuck it. He just doesn't sit. He only stands. I can't believe you're gonna bring that. Motherfucker bring in Darth, dude. Set right now. Yeah, go. You can bring. <laughs> the life size. There we go. Will you see? Is <laughs> he actually oh, okay? Cool. He's just. Chilling. This is our new co-host, guys. Yeah, Darth Vader. It's he's he's a good guy. He's a good friend of ours. He's stopping. He's in. about the height of a uh, wee man. He was kind of an man. absent father, but you know, he's you know trying to be better man, be a better man. Uh, but yeah, this is our boy. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe you brought him in this shot right now. Bring it. <laughs> so, oh, dude, I'm gonna. Uh, his yeah. arm moves, right? Yeah, everything does. If you're trying to like feel him up, I'm right trying now. to get him to jerk me off. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> yeah. dude! If All you're right. trying to hit like a button, it's up here. Uh, that's the jerk off button. Yeah, dude, you gotta, <laughs> gotta smash that thing, dude. Isn't that like Big Bang Theory where they made the robot arm and he gets it stuck to him? Yeah, I don't know. I'm still trying. I'm still thinking about the Netflix thing. I'm. Oh lord, man. I'm trying to figure. I never. Admit, I'm just gonna stick with my original answer. No and shit. We're gonna move on. Derek, you're my boy. Thanks for asking. Okay. Uh, Simona Eaton. 
Wow. Her. I dude, yeah. I was gonna say I don't think I've seen one thing from her. Look into the death of Eliza Land. That's some weird shit. There's a rabbit hole of other strange and solved murders similar. But that one always weirds me out. Hopefully this isn't too weird. No, no. We we like uh just the recommendations. I'm big into true crime stuff. What about you? Somewhat. It depends on like what if it's like something that happened here, like in Washington, I'm all over it. Yeah. Just because I like Because you did it. Oh, yeah. Because you murdered the people and you're like, let me listen to this podcast. What do you think of that, Darth? Pretty funny, right? Okay. Yeah, I mean you can. I don't know. Let's see. Does it work? Oh, God. I can't reach it. He's giving him a reach around. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. Uh, but yes, we'll we'll look into it and then we'll uh, I'll check it out and then we'll give you we'll give you a cool little fucking update on that. Once we find out if you really right, want Darth. something like that to watch, you got to go, Darth. It's been good for you. It's been good this, for you uh, for the visiting man, bro. Bringing him in. <laughs> Oh, the sensor's on too, so he'll go <laughs> off if you move him. Alex you. is the greatest producer of all time. He the just deal brings in Darth Vader, and you just ask him to, and he did it. <laughs> Man. Okay, so what's her next question? You got it. Oh, okay, yeah, too. So, last thing, and basically, the only question, sorry. What are the strangest dreams you two have had? Oh God! I I see. I like can't in a, in unison. Like we were sleeping together and we had a bad dream, or like, are we just talking? <laughs> why would you even? Why would your brain even go there? Hey, you guys be talking about our OnlyFans page over here. We're gonna be furries and shit. Okay, and what I just said I got is some. Weird. I got I got one like uh uh <laughs> I got one from recently. That's just really weird. I can I can share because I I just got done telling the person that was in it. Uh, so. I had a dream the other night that someone kidnapped my cat and uh, in I was like in the dream, I was like, I'm going to kill everyone until I find my cat. I don't care if like they didn't take it in the dream. I'm not going to kill everyone, guys. Uh, but I, I'm like, I'm killing everyone until I find this cat. And then my buddy from work, Dex, he he showed up with a baseball bat and he's like, I can't let you kill everyone in the world. I'm like Dex, move aside. They the kidnapped my cat. I got to kill everyone in the world. And then he's like, I can't let you do that. dude." They- and then I'm like, <laughs> Dex, you have a good point. I shouldn't kill everyone in the world. And he didn't even have to use the baseball bat. His kind words talked me down from killing everyone in the world. And then I was reunited with my cat. It had a happy ending. Hell yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'm like lame. All I literally all I had was a dream that my brother in law and father in law wrecked my car the other day. That's so interesting. Dream. No, it's it's not really. When I hear yours right now, I'm like, I have a weird. It's funny though because like the only thing that went through my head when you said I'm gonna kill everybody, I was like, did one of his jokes bomb? Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we can't give away my punchlines. That's I'm still using that one. Are you gonna use it? Oh, not tonight. I'm oh, I was like, this. damn, dude. I'm gonna Let's most, go. I do mostly. Uh, hey. Oh, you, you yeah, did that I, one. I read it. That makes oh me feel great because my daughter ain't here to read the next one. You you missed her middle question. So men always start out as women technically. Yep. All embryos begin as female. Oh, this God. is why men have nipples. Oh, she's giving us fun facts. She's she's over here like y'all were women before, you know that, right? It's true. Is that a real thing? Yes. Is that that's a that wow. Unless you start looking at, you know, like, the DNA and chromosomes, and you can tell what sex. What the what fuck? Sex, you know. I wouldn't. How much more? Yeah, oh, my God. Okay. 17 in total, bro. I don't I know. I have how many. a great thing about, so I was uh, going to be a nurse, and when I was in school, I learned about some shit that I wish I didn't know about. Um, have you guys ever heard of something called feculent amnesis? What the fuck? Oh, yeah, you told me the other night. Isn't that where you, like throw up poop or something yeah. yeah yeah yeah. you get so backed up it's called a fecal impaction and it builds and builds and builds until it just you start throwing up your own shit is that okay is that like if you have like an ulcer does that cause that no no, no. no it comes from a what's called a fecal impaction you just scroll so in, in your intestines your shit is backed up you scroll for whatever reason that's fucking wild bro yeah. like it's uh jacob barber is where you're at <laughs> just see it okay so jacob barber he's our host tonight by the way just so everybody knows this motherfucker come back with 
So about that twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so the question is: Is which one of us is actually going to loan him that twenty dollars? Oh, do I'm okay. I'm not broke, but you, you know, you get it. Uh, oh fuck! Here we go, Chelsea again, everybody. Do you think that Benny Benazi and the Biz ever got their satisfaction, or are they still being pushed in touch to this day? Ah <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping that they did. I'm hoping that they <laughs> Dude, had like, a happy ending. I have no answer to that, but that's funny. yeah, that's for really real. Funny. I'm I'm just gonna roll with that one. That's funny though. Uh, okay, sorry, I read it. I'm not supposed to read it. Here you go. Oh, and you're bitching at me. I didn't read it. The whole thing. I just said weirdest. I got the weirdest, and then I was like, hey, oh. Derek came back, man. Our Derek Horace back. came back. He's like, you know what? I got one. more I ain't done. He's actually got two more. Just I didn't hear no bell. Uh, where's the weirdest slash strangest place you've masturbated? Oh, God. You can't say it because it's part of your joke. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's not the weirdest place I've masturbated. I've masturbated. No shit? Yeah. To be honest, I'll just give the one from my joke. (laughs) I don't know where the weirdest place has. Probably at school. Like you've at, done it at school when I was in, in high school. Yeah, I was so afraid to do it anywhere. I would get like I got so many. My parents were Jehovah's school. Witnesses, man. I was afraid just to pull my pants down to shit. I didn't stop having boners <laughs> <laughs> in high school. I'd never stopped having boners, dude. Like I always had boners and like it, it was either do that or you get one of those weird that have to come into the front of the classroom boners. Oh and my god! Go. I do remember having boners in yeah. class, but like, I'd just sit there until the girl walked away. Ooh. Then I'd be fine. I kept thinking about it, dude. OCD, it gets you, dude. If I was thinking about that ass. Then she said, okay. just smacking it around. What we got? Was what that you? you got? Okay, you got that one. Yeah. Oh my god, Derek has like ten questions in this one question. I can't read how long. How long have we been going? Can uh, 43 minutes. Okay, we'll try to get through as many of these as we can, and we will probably have to answer some next episode. Uh, okay, so Avengers versus Z Fighters. Who wins? Thor versus Goku. Oh, that's so easy. I'm taking Dragon Ball. I was going to say, yeah, yeah Goku. It's, it, it's got to be Goku, because I don't, I don't know, though. When Goku was fighting Beerus, they almost destroyed the universe just punching each other. Yeah. Right. So I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say Goku on that. Goku. I'm I'm hi- I'm hyped up on Dragon Ball Z. I got I got to take my boys and Dragon Ball Z on this yeah. one. The any so kind of tournament of power. Did you? Yeah, he, there's like seven of them. So did you want me to read them all? No, we'll take turns. Still, don't okay. break the rules. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm cool with rules. that. I'm cool with that. <laughs> what about Iron Man versus? But oh my god, but. Vegeta? Yeah. V- vagina? Vagina. <laughs> vagina. I was literally going to say <laughs> vagina, too. I'm, so, Iron Man versus Vegeta. I'm going to take Dragon Ball people on every one of these. I was Vegeta. Gonna... Oh, Vegeta. If Vegeta would break apart his armor so fucking quick and just fucking hit him with the final flash, dude. He wouldn't have to go Super Saiyan. Yeah, he would just fucking rip that shit out, fucking blast him. The thing with that is Iron Man's kind of a pussy in his own, though. It, without his armor. Yeah. Like, you... You break one piece of it. Then oh, you okay. This more. is where things get interesting. It just got interesting. Captain America versus Yamcha. Ooh. Yeah. Because I probably take Captain America in that. Uh, so I don't know much about him. So I would say I would. Uh, yeah, maybe Captain America. But like. But Yamcha is, str- is, is an extremely strong human. Yeah. Too, though. Yeah. So it's too strong. I think that that's probably the most even matchup across the board. Yeah. But I honestly think that Cap could uh, fight out, fight him before he became tired because he can do this all day. Yeah. So, so what you're saying so, is he has more stamina. Yeah. Uh, True. So Captain Marvel versus Gohan. I'm Gohan. Easy. Oh, yeah. I broke the rules. I don't know. I don't know about Captain Marvel, though. Dude, Gohan, we uh, we weak sauce, bro. Well, didn't Gohan just figure out something? Uh, he has a new transition. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, 
fuck. Uh, Ultra Instinct Beast or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Is that new? Yeah. yeah, it's from the new movie from uh, Dragon Ball Superhero. They're still making this shit? Yeah. yeah. Well, the yeah, creator well, just died, rest well, in peace. Yeah. It, f- fucking, it was, like, really huge. Like, I used to watch, uh, what is it, Toonami? Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah, dude. That's like every time it would come on at night, man. Like dude, that you was like a show too. Like, yeah, like yeah, dude. That was my shit. All right, these are all like the same. So you want to do the next one and we get through? Do you just want me to do both of them? Yeah, just do them both. I'm gonna throw both at you. Right Not now. at the same time, but do the first one first and then. Okay, guys. Okay. <laughs> do it how I say. Did you do, did you do Captain Marvel? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Hulk versus what is that? Piccolo. 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 So Hulk versus, Hulk versus Piccolo. Piccolo. Ooh, ah. uh, I would say Hulk. I'm gonna say Piccolo because Piccolo just got a new transition too. That's right. Okay, where so he I'm can gonna go, tell you, I don't know any of the new transitions. He's like yeah. super big. He's like way bigger, way stronger, all of that. True. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take him for sure. Hulk is damn near indestructible. Though. Yeah, that's like another like pretty even matchup, you know. So so next up we have. Krillin versus Spider Man. Uh, oh God, you, you're starting to get me. I'm gonna take. Oh. I'm gonna take Spider Man. One hundred percent. No wait, I'm taking my answer back. I think that Krillin could think of a distra- like a way that he could do the Destructo disc. We picked that up. That's a good part to put in there. Okay, so another one from Derek Horace here, everybody. Uh, you go get what the fuck. You oh you get time, time travel for a day. Would you rather kick it with your great 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 grandparents, or hang with your great 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 grandchildren? I'd go with the hang with the grandparents. Just be like the because uh, knowing your ancestors and everything like that would be the most interesting thing. I feel like more than uh, your can like going forward. I'd rather go backwards. I'm gonna say like forward. Yeah. Same. You see, well, that's because you. Like, <laughs> that's because I don't know, that'd be kind of. I want to see how the future's doing of my lineage. Yeah, but that's because yeah. you guys already have kids and oh, I don't. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. He's over here like, yeah, I'll, I'll go back to 1902. I'm like over here, fuck them kids. I'm going back. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, bro. Right? It's like that's a what whole different. What we do here is go back, back. That's a good transition, I guess, because you that's I think that's what's cool about the whole thing. He doesn't have a kid. So when we talk about things, it's different to hear both perspectives. Right. Yeah. All my friends have all my other buddies. Like we all have a, like at least a two or three year old now mm. or married. Mine's 13 going on 31. So <laughs> shit, bro. Oh, you got a girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, OK. So she's you... hella smart and funny, though. So she's a pleasure to be around. But damn. Yeah, All right, yeah, hundred percent. Chris asks, if you were to come Chris up with ass or Chris, oh no, Chris asks like he asks us a question. Okay, if you were, <laughs> uh, if you were here to come up with a name to use while bo- bowling that combines bowling with a porn star's name, what would it be, and why was my choice of Johnny Penn's the best? What the. F- fuck so bowling so we gotta make like a porno name out of a bowling ball or uh or just bowling in general no it's a bowling it's a a, a porn name that involves a bowling term mm. so i don't know mine would be like i'm gonna go with a uh, lucky strike or something like that lucky strike wow man damn gold that's top birdie bro good one. yeah that's the only thing I can think of. Is go- no, that's golf, huh? Birdie? That would be golf, yeah. isn't it? So fun. You can't get a birdie in <laughs> bowling, <laughs> Kate. I, I, was just trying, I just was thinking that. I'm like, fuck, I'm pretty oh, sure that's golf. golf. Oh, man. How, for a bowling term? I don't know, man. I haven't bowled in a while. I have a joke about bowling tonight. Oh, shit. That's yeah. hilarious. That's... I'm not going to tell either of you because it's... Oh, I think I told you, but shh. 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 I'm not going to say anything. I already shh. gave one of your jokes away. <laughs> we consistently talk about one of my jokes though that's true all the time if, if people are wondering what joke it was it's no don't no, we, i'm not it, saying the it, joke i we always do it in a sneaky way it's always very sneaky that's it's exactly what i was gonna say 
Okay, Britt has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dude, she's rolling. Bro. We'll probably get through like uh like a couple of her questions and then at an hour we'll You're not trying to run a roll, you know? Dude, we're already We can't. No. We no. can't. Cause at being at six forty yeah. fuck. It's gonna be time to get there pretty soon. Oh man. So Britt Owens, let's go again. Fucking Christ dropping my phone, people. Uh, skydiving. Would you do it? Bungee jumping. What about sleeping in a suspended hammock over a canyon? I think that's like three in one. I wouldn't. Uh, so we'll go with skydiving for skydiving. No, I would think you it's a bump it into one question. Okay. Like I wouldn't do any of that. No, nope. that's no. Like all that shit is just pure madness, dude. Like the the people that sleep in those hammocks above the cliffs and shit, like why that one like, i wouldn't do but like if you're talking skydiving why are you looking uh, for <sighs> my friend wants me to go skydiving and i don't want to do it but i might do it i don't know we'll well, see the real question is do you have xanax or not right <laughs> he said we'll, we'll be like joe rogan pot cookie airplane <laughs> <laughs> like i'll skydiving yeah i don't i don't need anything bro if you're talking skydiving i'd do it bungee jumping i'd probably do that too but the whole hammock thing who tied the hammock did they make sure it was secure before i called yeah in? when you're fat you can't be sleeping in a hammock that's what i'm place. saying bro what kind of netting did you use did they fucking make the shit out of adamantium like then i'm not getting in it like <laughs> <laughs> dude you you fuck it as soon as i crawl into that bitch i'm either rolling in a circle and then fall right out of it or yeah i just i just the whole hammock thing has never to me been a good idea i've tried to get in just a normal hammock where you're just like getting into it and i couldn't even get into that like that's a question how do they get it? do they just crawl into them like, i fucking the canyon, sw- or yeah. they like do they I, drop you into it i'm not the right shape for a hammock or any of that shit that <laughs> you mentioned Sky, you don't need to be a shape for skydiving we just throw you out of a plane right that's true like safety i said safety record's good on that yeah because you know you fuck up there's no more business so <laughs> right that's true <laughs> that's, right, that's such a good point all right do you prefer chocolate or gummy slash sour candy i'm a chocolate junkie dude oh yeah chocolate i gotta take chocolate mm-hmm. like depends though are we talking edibles uh or just candy in general Cause if it's like a candy edible, dude, I'm all about those gummy edibles right now. Those are good. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm still really high. <laughs> are you, are you gonna be good to go on set tonight? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'll smoke one more time before then. I think I can make that work. Like a little, little bit of a uh, chips or something before you go over there. I'll be good. We'll make it happen. Do I gotta eat something before I go over there? Otherwise, I'll freak out. Right. Uh, okay. What's the next one? Just so you know, Britt, uh, chocolate for both of us. Chocolate. Uh, advice. Oh, fuck. Okay, so the question. I don't think this is a question, right? Yeah, okay, whatever. Advice you'd give to a 14-year-old self. Okay, that is a good question, though. Uh, You're going to get pussy next year. It's going to be wild. But, you know, just because you got pussy, don't stay with this bitch. She's psycho. She's psycho. That's what I would tell 14 year old me. Watch out, dude. You're going to get some pussy. It's going to be good next year. But she's crazy and you need to get away from her as soon as possible. Listen to your parents. <laughs> because they're like, that bitch is crazy. Stay away from her. Don't put your dick in crazy. That's what I would say. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no shit. I feel that. Yeah, yeah. Like if I only had a couple seconds to say the advice, and then like the time warp like pulled me back a bit. Don't put your dick in crazy, or do it once, but then get away. (laughs) 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 A fourteen-year-old self, man. I don't know. Oh man, don't. Maybe move. Oh man, I don't know. That's a good one because like. Invest in There's so right, yeah. <laughs> dude. Invest in GameStop before it closed. Down. Yeah, that that would have been like that's not real though. That's not real. Really, it'd be like just watch what I buy. Right. Everything that I bought at 14 years old. Now, you imagine if I would have kept it. Just keep whatever I bought that was good and don't spend money on the stupid shit like a Honda Civic. 
<laughs> that fault. No, I wouldn't need to say anything. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Fucking Brit, you got so many. She always uh, kind of gives us good ones. Though. Yeah, she, she does. She's always giving like, good questions. How do you feel about glorifying serial killers? Why do people do that? I think that people like to see what is... Uh, what is the possibility? Like this thing is horrible, but it is a possibility. So there's like a sick, uh, like satisfaction that people get in like watching these things. Uh, but yeah, I don't think that people should glorify them. Like, I think that it's, do you, uh, do you think they're glorifying it though? Or is it more of just like the fact that you can see how it really was done? Uh, cause like when I watched the, uh, what is it? Jeffrey Dahmer show. Uh-huh. Then when they put, Oh, Hey, that goes back to Netflix. When they put it on Netflix, dude, it wasn't glorifying. Like you actually kind of felt bad for the kid. Yeah. No. And also for his victims. Like, I think if it's done it right, like I think that show did it right, but yeah, definitely. I don't think that people should be like fully, uh, like glorifying it or like being like, look at these guys or like, cause it just, especially when kids see that kind of shit and they're just going to be like, Oh, I want to be like him when I grow up. It's like, no, that's not a good goal. That's not how you're going to. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I get that. But I glorifying it. Some people do. I, I Some people do like hardcore. They have the shit all over their walls and stuff. Yeah. They fucking. I will say, say that. But for me, dude, like just watching it, I think it's more cool to see both sides of the story. Mm-hmm. I think that's why I go so deep into some of those. It's just kind of cool, like especially with Jeffrey Dahmer, dude, the way they did it. And I can't remember his name, the actor that played it. He Evan, played... P- Evan Peters, Evan. Something? Is it Evan Peters? He played Tate in American Horror Story, but he's like the perfect actor to do it. He made it like even emotional, like you, it made you emotional too, just oh, to yeah, see how it was. Good. Yeah, like just the way they did the setup. I went off on that one, bro. Sorry. I'll talk uh, about that all day. Oh, the, I read that one, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck. So, do, 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 do. let's see here. 59. Okay, so let's let's just wrap it up. With we're this at, one? We're at 59. Ooh, uh, I, got, I got one last. I'll do let last him question. do the question. Let's go for it. Okay. Well, Brent, we'll get your, your other ones next week. Okay, so this is groundbreaking, and this is very, very important. You guys need to understand that. Yes. Does the fart push the poop out or does poop push the farts out oh oh I, fuck i've heard this one on, on ymh i think i dude i want to say the fart yes because it's like i'm trying to think the of the pressure what? of gas pushes the shit out oh man because whenever you fart the, man the fart yeah the fart pushes the shit out because the fart is escaping the gases f- form out of the butt, <laughs> and, and that the, the gas. I'm just like dude, the it, gas pushes the solid out. Yeah, I was gonna say it's just the pressure of a fart, man. Because like, dude, when you fart, you got shit after that fart. That's true. Or if you fart, too you're hard. in trouble. <laughs> oh, she's video chatting now, dude. Answer it. We're getting rid. It's no, our first. We're, out, I, it's our first I, out of the car podcast. I'm, I'm telling you, every time you do this, y'all, she's gonna be so mad if I put her on live. Do it. And I'm not going to have you cut that part out. I'm going to get you to do it. Man. I'm going to get you to do it, dude. Eventually, I might do it. All right, guys. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> this has been our first Out of Car episode. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate you guys. Big shout out to Alex for coming on board. Definitely, first episode on bro. board. This is amazing just seeing him over there. Yeah, so this is cool. So we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Deuces.